Hello my friends, this is Gloria from Crafted with the Heart. Welcome to our channel. Um, just here to share with you a little bit of how my garden and my spring decor looks inside the house. This year I decided to do um, the Peter Rabbit inspired kind of decor. Here we are, I'm showing you how my beautiful garden is doing. This is the front of the house. And um, I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I probably be putting this. Uh, I'm not sure to music. I, I'm not sure. I know you guys like when I go in, in detail and, the, and explain to you. I did that arrangement with a little bicycle over here. So it's a beautiful day here in Florida. This is the end of my home this year. I did these two eggs that I bought at Michael's. I painted them and they light up. Very simple entrance. The umbrella that I got a couple of years ago from Hobby Lobby and I put some flowers in it. This wall and over here I have a bunny. But I, I can't remember where I got it, but I put the flowers on the pansies and roses, a lot of flowers and everything this year. This is how it looks like. Of course, it's, you can't see the light because uh, it's daylight. This is the lower wreath. I didn't do anything in the top, just plain. I decided to take it and leave it like that. Let's go inside the house. Okay, as you go inside the house, I have here a bunny wreath that I got from Hobby Lobby. Uh, I put the flowers and the he's risen. I know it's past Easter, but to me, every day is Easter or the day of the Savior. Over here, I have the round decor. I have spring, the bunnies, and everything is coming alive. All the bunnies and all the birds are having their babies. So, this is what I got here at the entrance. I'll close the door so you can see. <laughs> so this is uh, the little bird there, nesting. That's an arrangement I made a couple of years ago. It's probably something that I saw. Over here, I have usually the mirror and the two candle holders. I painted uh, that clock. I can see Child Inspire and the piece in the middle. Put lots of flowers and bunnies. I have another piece that I painted. I'm so sure I can't, you can't. But yeah, I put a lot of flowers and bunnies and everything else, very, very spring-like, kind of Peter Rabbit type thing. And this will be on the side. And then as you move, if I move back, it's an open concept home. So this is how the living room and dining room and kitchen look like. I'll show you the closer look as I go. Let me go here. Let me turn around. This is uh, my bedroom, my master bedroom. I have the same wreath. And uh, my craft room and the laundry room. And I have amazing grace plaque over here. Then I have my granddaughter when she just little up there with a heart. And then uh, I have this little vignette here in the hallway, going to the room and the craft room and the laundry room. A lot of flowers, a lot of gardening things. And then we have, we start here at the entrance of the living room. Then I have a rabbit there that I got years ago from Pier One. Sad to see, see it go. Over here, I have this credenza here that I decorated. My guys um, have bunnies and uh, Easter greeting. Then I got this uh, pedestals with the bunnies from Martha Stewart from Home Goods. I can't, I can't remember where I got this. I got them a couple of years ago. This is, these eggs are from Pier 1. And you know, I go different stores 
and um, this is how it looks. So I have two credences on each side of the fireplace. Over here, got this this year. I fell in love with it from uh, Kirkland's. 25% off. I change this over here. You can see the same alcohol that I see is just for display with bunnies and stuff like that and, and a lot of greenery. Another bunny from Pier 1. This one, I can't remember where I got him from, this one here. Then I got these this year from uh, Home Goods. Well, actually, my daughter did get them. My daughter that lives in New Jersey. I couldn't find them here, so she sent them to me. And uh, this is the vignette that I have here on this wall. It's my lady. The magnificent body that got created for women. This is from uh, this year, my daughter sent that to me. Uh, this one is, this one is from Pier One. That one I think is from Michael, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, I have different bodies. This body here is from Pier One. This is from Hungus. My daughter also sent it to me. And this one here that everybody was looking for, I she finally found it for me. And that was that back one is from Pier One. And I have a little one here hiding. This is a tear tray from Mackenzie Child. So I put the body with, with cabbage and everything else here. And I have this one here. Also, my daughter painted this. She, she first sent me this one and it broke, so I fixed it. And so if you see the bottom broke and I it was broken completely and I fixed it. And I think I did a pretty good job at fixing it. It looks like nothing happened to it. I had to improvise with different things, but I did. And I repainted it a little darker than the one in this corner. So they're supposed to be the same. As you see, so so this is how this vignette looks like. It's pretty, it's pretty rabbit inspired. I'm gonna show you the dining room later. This is how it looks. Then if we turn around, we see the fireplace. I have a same screen, same screen on without music, of course. Then I have these bunnies I got from Tuesday morning, two years, last year. And the bunnies in the back, they were different. I painted them <laughs> Mackenzie Child inspired. This is from Pier 1 years ago. This one, I, I can't remember where I got this wreath. So I put the wreath as a base. This is how it looks. Then you have these ones. I got them from Home Goods. This this little one I got this year. This is last year, and these ones I had. I can't remember where I got those. I'm not sure if it was Home Goods or not. I hope I'm doing a good job videotaping. You know, this is not my per se. So. I'm always changing stuff, guys. So over here, have another on the other side. I did those two topiaries last year, and I painted this one. Remember, I had a brown thing here. I took it out, gave it away. This one I painted this uh, a couple of years ago. It has a little bun in there. It's an egg, plastic egg, and I did it like that. You can see the work with the molding and everything. This one from this year, my old daughter also sent that to me. I have this kind of, um, what do you call that? Bunnies and sheep mold. I got them from uh, last couple of years ago from Michaels. Then I have this one that my daughter sent me this year too, because I couldn't find anything here in Florida. Everything was gone and I've been trapping early. So let me go back so you can see the whole thing. Let me see if I can do this. So that's how that looks. It's a different look, what I had earlier. If you go back to my Easter last year, you'll see that I had two brown shelves there that were taking too much space. So 
this is how it looks. This is uh, the table here in the middle of the living room. This bird topi uh, thing stands, I got them from Tuesday morning last year. This is from Michael's, if I'm not mistaken. This is um, home goods. My daughter sent them to me, the girl and the boy. Then I got this, I can't remember where. Then this here, I made this arrangement here with a wreath and I took the garland and I wrapped it around and put the two bunnies inside with flowers. And these, and these are from Pier One years ago. Then this year I framed, I printed this and I put it in the frame that I got from Home Goods. And this one here, that was the frame from Home Goods and I printed it. And I have a runner with the bunny legs. And over here I have just an arrangement, the bottom. And over here I have another arrangement. I have another lady there with two bunnies that I got from uh, Hobby Lobby. This I got from Pier one years ago with the flowers and I made the arrangement with the flowers myself. Got these, I made a basket. Put these two bunnies that I got from Pier, uh, from Tuesday morning to, uh, before they closed. And happy spring, guys. <clears throat> the lanai, I didn't do much, it's just, basic I have to really do, do something with that anyway and then up here I just have this when you walk in you see it over here you have a little elf hanging this plant I it was so expensive the fiddle plant and I just bought the, the, the things I made it myself and then over here I have a Peter Rabbit throw that I got this year, my daughter got it. And then she also got me, of course I pay for all this, she, it's the shipping. Cause you know, Peter Rabbit on the sofa with a yellow background. Let's go into the kitchen and dining room. Okay, we are here. I made this one I bought on clearance at Hobby Lobby. I got this from Home Goods. This is the end of the the, the, the living room is on this side. Then I have a little vignette here. The, the bunnies that I got from Pier One years ago. This is the whole way to the other bedrooms and the, another bathroom. Then I got the wreath that I got here from, I can't remember where I got these from. I think it was, I don't know if it was Walmart or Target. Then that's, I always keep that there. And this here is just, let me put the light on so you guys can see. Some, uh, another hat. Then we got this curtain this year. This is my daughter's bathroom. She's supposed to put the thing over, but she doesn't. So she has a little mermaid thing kind of thing here. Anyway, let's turn around. We're gonna go here. This is the back of the sofa. I have this little table here with this cake from Home Goods I got last year. And this is from the candle holders are from Kirkland's. These I think I got a Hobby Lobby. It has that little greenery. This is from Michael's. This is from Home Goods last year. So you can see the whole thing from here. I kind of kept it simple. I'm not a simple person, but I kind of kept it. So you can see. If we turn around, I have another elf there, a bigger one. I like what this thing is. And that's a real plant. Now, Photo, 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 something like that's called. Let me back up so you can see. This is the side of the dining room. And then we're gonna go up. Another elf up there. With a vignette of flowers. I put 
because of the arrangements. I made that arrangement. I use a garland, for, it's kind of garden, the greenery. You see the greenery? And then I put the flowers in top. It's kind of tall, guys. Let me open this so you can see it. It's in my china closet. I'll show you from far away. Then over here, how the house is. The Peter Rabbit plates we got last year. This one this year for my and then the this cupcake. And the other side. I'll show you from far away so you can see. I'm just showing you close now because it's you know. <laughs> Yeah, another one. Over here I have the dining room table, the Peter Rabbit plates. I got them last year. I know they brought them back this year. And the runner I got I bought it this year. The tablecloth. I had that. So I just this little design. I made this arrangement and I put a full cake in the middle. The coffee section. Uh, coffee cups from Ray Dunn. And my kitty cat food. <laughs> then I got two is there. As you see, these two these two pink trees, they were different colors that I painted. I mean I did them like that. And this I got this from this year from Kirkland's. I have the cupcake and other things that I got from Hunger this year. So I get the pale pink here. Simple as the coffee bar, I make my coffee here. I have a little vignette here too. That rabbit is the middle rabbit is from Pier One years ago. I think I think this is from this uh, Happy Easter is from um, from Hobby Lobby, if not mistaken. My coffee maker. I have another bonus like that, but I, I didn't prove my body sound. That back there arrangement is from Pier One. Then I have a Peter Rabbit picture here. And one in the middle of the window, I have another one there. That's also from Kirkland this year. And this is how the China closet looks from far away. A lot of flour, a lot of greenery. And now we're gonna go into the kitchen. I made this basket this year. This is the pantry. And I had that sign there. This is good food, good friend, good times. And that's how it looks like. Then we come here to the, where the stove is. I have this one that I got from uh, Bath and Body Works. I always have the emergency uh, flashlight here. Plates. Very basic. Oh, it does, those are not the only plates I have there. The other main ones are in the cabinet. I did this in the stove with the McKinsey Child kettle locally grown carrot patch underneath. So these cabinets are, are low, I can't put too much underneath them and they don't have no space in the top either, so. Yeah, a couple of things I got there. If you go up the stove, you'll see the rabbits. Can't remember where I got them from. So, 
and I have a refrigerator with the Johanna Parker towels. Then we're gonna go here and see this vignette here. In front of the sink. You can see over there the the coffee bar. I, I still don't get adjusted to this um open space thing. <laughs> it's hard for me to figure out the correct because you have to keep kind of everything cohesive with the colors and everything. So and this is all I did. I did a little bit in my bedroom, but I, I didn't make the bed today, so I didn't show you that. <laughs> anyway, this is how it looks. Kitchen, dining room. It is pretty big, that dining room is pretty big. I have six chair table there and uh, this and everybody sits comfortably. If you go around, you see this vignette here. And then you see the background, the living room. And over here. And that's it, guys. I guess I'll be sharing you and all the things when I, as I do them. I'm being kind of slow. So I hope everybody had a nice Easter. This is my spring Easter slash uh, video. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. At least I try to bring something to you once a month. So because you know my medical condition so god bless and i'll see you guys soon bye